Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my 2021 beauty favorites. So these are all the products that have just stuck out to me in the year 2021. So I cannot believe it's already 2022. I don't know what happened to 2021. It was kind of just like a blur for me. So I don't know if I'm alone in that feeling, but it was just a bit of a crazy year. There was ups and downs, but I just hope that there is better things for 2022. So let's just keep our fingers crossed for that. So I did have quite a few fun new beauty favorites for 2021 and also some old ones that I kind of rediscovered and they just were like an everyday routine type of product that I do still want to share with you guys. If you guys want to see what my 2021 beauty favorites are, then please keep on watching. So I think I'm gonna start with some lip products first. Now I do have a few like newish type of lip products. And first we're gonna start with a lip liner. This is actually the only lip liner that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys because this was actually a new discovery, kind of recent for me. And it is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Cafe. So this is just like a really beautiful, like neutral, brown shade it is so pretty i'm just obsessed with it and the price was amazing i think it was like three or four dollars canadian so that is great for lip liners because they can get quite expensive for like such a small product so i love when you can find affordable ones that are really nice and good quality so i really love this one it's super big you've got to sharpen it yourself but it will last a long time and it is just like the perfect neutral brown for me which is what i love because i sometimes i don't like when they're too warm or when they're too cool toned so this one is just the perfect brown shade in my opinion so that is it swatched and it is just so pretty my next favorites are these liquid lips from she glam so i love she glam and shein i order from them all the time and i actually fell in love with these like double-sided liquid lipsticks so there is a matte side on one side and then you get like just a clear gloss on the other side which i don't normally use but it actually is a pretty nice gloss but i bought them for these matte shades here because they are just like the perfect neutral pinky shades that i just love and they are matte i'm wearing this one today here called dusty rose so it is just like the perfect matte feeling lip lipstick it just like stays on your lips it dries to a matte finish it is not like so drying but it is like smudge proof so it's really great and i just love their shades so their liquid lipsticks are really great in my opinion and i love these two so i have the two shades called 208 blossom and 205 dusty rose i will swatch them for you as well so that is the blossom shade and this one is dusty rose I've also been using a ton of glosses this year and I have to say that the MAC glosses have been my favorite to use in general pretty much all the time because I've just been such a MAC gloss type of girl. I just love them for me. They're just like, just, I don't know, they just like stay on the lips so beautifully. They make your lips look so glossy and I'm just a MAC gloss loving girl. So I really love this one here called 337 Berry Go Lightly. And it is just like the perfect like glittery champagne shade that is like a perfect lip topper. So if you wear any type of lipstick or lip stain underneath and you just wanna like give it a little bit of a gloss without adding too much color to it, then I love this shade here. It is just perfect and I love it. So I believe that this is a lip glass from MAC and I just love the MAC glosses. So I had to mention them. I also had to give an honorable mention to this Buxom gloss here. This is an old OG favorite that I actually refell in love with. So this is their Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream in the shade White Russian. So this is a very old and truly loved shade here from Buxom, but I just love their glosses in general. Their plumping glosses are one of my favorite gloss formulas also, so I had to mention them. And this shade here, White Russian, is just like the perfect milky pink, but they have so many shades in their collection of their plumping glosses, and I just love the formula of this. So I had to mention it if you guys are looking for a really amazing plumping lip gloss. So if you guys have watched my channel, then you know that I am blush obsessed. So this year I've been really experimenting and playing around a lot more with cream blushes. And I really love these pixie ones. These are the on the go blushes. So I did a video on them that was quite popular because I feel like these were like trending and they're just really great. You can just like put them on your face super easily. They give your face like a glow and just like a beautiful pinch of color. They have three shades. There is a lighter pink one, but I've been using these two shades the most this year. So I wanted to mention them 
one shade here is like a beautiful coral that one is called juicy and then there is this like reddish shade here called ruby so they are just really beautiful and you could use them on your cheeks on your lips and they're just very multi-purpose and love them I also have to mention this Buxom blush. This is their Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Dolly. So they've had this formula for a few years now, but I just discovered the shade Dolly this year and I love it. It is just like the perfect pinky shade with a little bit of like a glimmer. It's not like a glimmer, it's more of like a glow to it and you don't see like any chunky glitters or anything. It just gives you like this beautiful glow to your cheeks. And I just love this shade here. The Wanderlust blushes are one of my favorite formulas for blushes. I just think they're amazing. They have quite a few shades in there um, in this formula. So I love this one here called Dolly. And I just had to mention it because I've used it so much this year or so much last year. I also had to give a mention to this NARS blush here. This one is in the shade called Paradise Found. I think I've used this bronzer almost every day of 2021, so I just had to mention it. As you guys can see, I've already hit pan here, so that is quite a feat because it's hard to hit pan on bronzers usually and like any makeup products, quite frankly. So I just, you can see that it's well loved. I've used it all 2021 and it is just amazing. I love this NARS bronzer so if you guys are looking for a great new bronzer then definitely check this one out my next favorite is definitely this makeup forever matte velvet skin blurring powder foundation so this product just like blew me away this year i, I believe it came out in 2021 because i'm pretty sure it did that was the first time that i tried it and i know that it is a new product so this is just such an amazing like foundation or just like powder for your face. It honestly does blur any pores. I have a lot of pores on my T-zone area and whenever I put this powder on, it just literally looks like it's airbrushed. And I don't know, there, there's just something about this specific product here that just is amazing. It is definitely the best powder that I've used. I can definitely say for sure. So if you guys are looking for a blurring powder foundation, then this is definitely my top favorite and I had to mention it. I also have to mention these Bare Mineral Concealers. These are the Liquid Mineral Concealers, and I use them a lot on my channel this year. They are really, really great. They're beautiful for just like touching up any blemishes. I like to use them for like cleaning up any eyeshadow looks. Um, I actually don't even use them a lot on my under eyes, but more so like on my face, because I feel like they're really moisturizing. So if you have drier skin on your under eyes, then I think that these would be great, but they can crease just a little bit under the eyes, so definitely be aware of that, but they are so hydrating and just really beautiful, and they blend out so amazing. I love it for spot concealing my face. These do an amazing, amazing job, so I had to mention these concealers because I use them so much in 2021. I also had to mention these NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Bases. I use these a lot for eyeshadow looks and I just love them because they have a little bit of color to them and I have the medium shade and the light one so it just depends how pale or tan I am and I just love these little guys over here. I use them all the time so I had to give them a little bit of a mention. I also have two mascaras that I wanted to mention. These are two that I've used pretty much all year. So the first one here is this ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara mascara in the shade black. They also have a brown one that I love as well. So these Act Natural Defining Mascaras are amazing. I use them so much on my channel and they are just great affordable mascaras. And also this Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Ultra Black Mascara has also been a, such a favorite of mine. So I had to mention them both because they are just amazing mascaras and very affordable. So a super favorite brow product of mine is this She Glam one here. I actually have my latest brow tutorial using this product over here and I am just obsessed with it. This has been a lifesaver this year for me because I've been looking for a product like this and this is just so affordable. It's super affordable and it's super amazing. So there's two sides to this over here and one side you get a really nice thin brow pencil and then on the other side, which is my favorite, you get like this brush tip liner pen here with a really, really nice like natural looking this to it like when you apply it it doesn't look like you're applying a eyeliner but it just like looks very natural so i love the formula of this 
felt tip liner pen here for the brows. I use it to do like brow hairs and it is just perfect, especially the shade taupe. I think it just is so like, it would be amazing for a lot of people who have similar hair and brows to myself. So the shade taupe here is amazing. And this product is just like my favorite. I have backups of it because I just love it and I cannot live without it. So this is definitely one of my like super favorites of the year. So I go through a lot of eyeshadow palettes in a year. And the first palette that I want to mention here is this ColourPop. It's a mood palette. I feel like I've used this palette so much on my channel this year and for good reason because it is just a stunning palette. It is a 30 pan palette. You get pretty much every shade you could ever want. You get all these beautiful different colors. There's like greens, blues. You get your like purpley cranberry tones, your neutrals, all different formulas. You have like glitters, metallics, just like beautiful mattes. It's just the perfect palette in my opinion. So that's why I use it so much. I did so many looks with this palette. It is super versatile and such an amazing affordable price. I love ColourPop. I use them a lot on my channel and their eyeshadows are truly one of my favorites. So I had to mention this palette. It has definitely been probably my most used palette of the year. I also had to give a shout out to this palette from ColourPop as well, their five pen palette. This is in the shade called Lyric. So I actually used these in the very beginning of 2021 and they are just so beautiful. I'm actually kind of upset that I didn't use this specific palette more because this one here is definitely my favorite of them. It is just so perfect. You get like a beautiful pressed glitter in the middle, all these beautiful, rich, neutral, bronzy brown shades that are just so beautiful. So they do have a few different color palettes that you guys can choose from, but this one in Lyric is definitely my favorite. And I had to mention it because it is just so, so beautiful. And like a perfect traveling palette, you can just like, it's very tiny, but it's sturdy. So. I love these little mini ColourPop palettes, so I had to give this one an honorable mention. So let me know if you guys would like to see me use it again on my channel. I do have a tutorial where I use this palette. I can link it in the description box if you guys would like. The last palette I'm gonna mention is this She Glam one. This is their Smart Cookie palette, and I love this palette because it is an all matte palette, super affordable and really great quality. So I also did a video using this, so let me know if you guys want to kind of see these palettes again on my channel. I love to reuse palettes and just keep them going because it's a shame to just kind of forget about these beautiful palettes. So I love this one specifically because it is all matte and it is all those like beautiful neutral warm tones there. So it's just a really beautiful neutral palette and I really love it. So I had to mention it. This is just a great palette and the She Glam palette quality is really amazing. So if you guys have not tried out any She Glam products, definitely do as you guys can see. I mentioned them a lot in this favorites video. Another super favorite of mine has been these She Glam foundations. So I actually discovered them this year and they just like blew me away. They are just my favorite foundations probably. And they are so affordable, which I love. They are, feel super high quality. They are just amazing. So there's this one here, the Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. So this one is their matte one. And then they recently released this hydrating foundation. So I love them both for different reasons. I really love this if I want like more of a matte look and I want it to last longer. And then this hydrating one is great for those days where you kind of don't need a lot of coverage and you don't mind if your skin feels a little bit more hydrated, especially in the winter time. I've been loving this hydrated one. So I had to mention these because they are definitely my favorite foundations of 2021. And I know that I'll be using them in 2022 as well because they're just so great, so affordable, and I just love them. So definitely had to mention these. So guys, that is it for my 2021 beauty favorites. I feel like I didn't have that many and I kind of feel like I forgot some, but for the most part, that is definitely my favorites and just the products that have stood out to me the most of the year 2021. So I'm really excited to see what 2022 brings and what new makeup products we'll be releasing and just certain things that I'll be using a lot on my channel. So I always get excited for new makeup. So we will see what new makeup 2022 has in store for us all. I would also love to know what kind of looks you want to see on my channel, what other types of videos you guys want to see and anything else. So please leave me any feedback in the comment section. I would love to know what you guys want to see from me more in the year 2022. So let me know and I hope that you guys are having an amazing year and also what some of your favorites were this year. I would love to know maybe I will try them out this new year. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!